Bus driver is forced to call 911 on a little boy after looking at his feet. Northern California resident Tim Watson may have posed as your typical public bus driver, but in the end, he proved to be much more heroic than what his job title implied. Tim's got his regulars, the people he makes daily small talk with on his familiar vehicle. Some became his dear friends. He was just a friendly guy with an ordinary job, and he expected nothing more than to drive people where they needed to go. But on what seemed like just another day on the job, Tim was maneuvering his scheduled bus route when a young man and a child walked on the bus together. Tim had never seen them before, but thought nothing of it at first, until the two sat down. While keeping his eyes on the road, Tim observed the somewhat odd behaviors of the two. He assumed the man was in his mid-twenties and noticed that he seemed strangely distracted. But it was how he treated the kid that worried Tim. They sat toward the middle of the automobile, and the young man visibly attempted to restrain the restless child, who then started crying. Though he'd seen young kids cry on the bus on several occasions, something about this situation felt off to Tim. While Tim quietly observed the little boy through his rearview mirror, he saw blatant fear in the child's eyes, something not of a typical temper tantrum. This was a dangerous situation. Tim knew it in his gut. As Tim's bus drive continued, so did his worry. He couldn't help but continue to look at the duo from his safe distance, hoping the weirdness in it was all in his head, but nothing would reassure him. Because as the ride went on, the youngster wouldn't stop crying, and in response, the man, who seemed to become increasingly more anxious, urged him to stay quiet. And it wasn't just that he noticed the passenger's behavior was odd. Tim thought that something seemed familiar about the situation. He just couldn't put his finger on what it was. But then it hit him like a ton of bricks. He suddenly remembered a news story he had just read that morning regarding a missing persons report. The newspaper disclosed that a three-year-old boy had been missing from a San Francisco library. He then tried to rack his brain for more details before he proceeded doing anything. See, Tim Watson is a father of two, so he possessed some paternal instincts. While he didn't want to assume anything too soon, he also felt that he needed to save this child if he truly was who the police were desperately searching for. Tim concluded that the only way for him to be more sure of his intuition was if he were to get a better look at the frightened boy. But how could he accomplish this investigation of sorts while driving the bus? While Tim did his best to remain calm and appear as unbothered as ever, he noticed that the man seemed hyper aware of his surroundings as if he was looking to get off the bus. Tim had to act quickly. He confidently made an announcement, saying a previous rider left behind a green backpack. This was obviously a lie, but Tim implied this backpack was of great importance, which gave him an opportunity to stop and check the bus for the bag. While Tim scanned the bus and passengers cooperatively checked under their seats for the non-existent backpack, he got a close look at the distressed little boy, who astonishingly donned the same outfit as the boy on the news, which included a pair of unmistakable red crocs. After the failed search, Tim went back to his seat, ready to continue driving, while also devising stage two of his now animate plan. Since the bus engine was loud enough to cover up Tim's hushed voice, he cautiously reached for his phone and dialed 911. The police gave Tim strict instructions on what to do in his vulnerable position. Although Tim was as nervous as could be, his complete determination to save the kidnapped boy outweighed his vast fear. Tim anxiously went about his route, planning to go to his next scheduled stop as advised by the authorities over the phone. They assured Tim that police would definitely be there waiting. When they arrived at the stop, police swarmed the bus, having covered both of its exits, anticipating the man and boy's departure. One by one, the bewildered passengers evacuated the vehicle, until finally the suspect emerged. It was him. The police immediately pried the poor boy from the kidnapper's arms and arrested the man on the spot, despite his petty struggle to squirm away. The three-year-old was smart enough to understand what was happening so he grabbed onto the hand of one of the officers. The boy's parents were joyous that their sweet son had been saved, and it wouldn't have happened if it weren't for Tim. The boy's family, as well as police officers, were beyond grateful for his act of bravery. Tim Watson then became a near celebrity, 
He was interviewed by several TV stations, written about by every news site under the sun, and even threw out the first pitch at a San Jose Giants minor league baseball game. Tim lived by the see something, say something mantra, and he was not alone.